All right, guys, so we're in the IS300 today. We have a check engine light. So I'm gonna plug in the Fossil, and we're gonna see why that check engine light is on. All right, so I got the Fossil plugged into the ODB2 port. I go into my Wi-Fi and I connect to it. I go to the app, ODB2 Car Doctor. And I should be able to just hit this connect button. So we have one error code in the diagnostic section. I'm going to go to show details. And it is AP0135. All right guys, so here is the O2 sensor I'm going to use. It's a Denso O2 sensor, which is pretty typical of all Toyota parts. So inside here, this is the one that should fit. Bank one, sensor one. So in here comes the sensor and a little packet of anti-C's, which I probably will not use as I have a tube of my own, and I can save that little tube for later. All right, so it looks like bank one, sensor one, is going to be right front and center here. That sensor right there, you see I already got that broken loose. I was lucky enough to get it broken loose with the fixed or the adjustable wrench. Ideally, you're going to have a fixed wrench or a even better would be an actual O2 sensor socket wrench. Uh, don't have one of those. It looks like it'd be a 21 based on maybe a 22 based on where my adjustable lined up. And the other end of the wire, it looks like it goes right here. I'm going to unplug that right now. All right, so I'm kind of getting stuck here and there. I keep hitting it with WD-40, but it's coming out slowly but surely in the future definitely should get some fixed wrenches but should be able to get it out with just some WD-40 or PB Blaster or whatever your preference is there alright there it is guys after a lot of elbow grease a little WD-40 nearly flattened out those those corners on that left O2 sensor but uh going to be getting the one in the right in there which is scary about how difficult that was is there actually was some anti-seas on that um, originally so that uh so notes for me going forward I will never do this again with probably without an O2 sensor socket wrench so not sure if that's going to be in my future for purchase but definitely if not through the Loan a tool program, advanced auto or auto zone, but big learning experience. All right, guys, so I went in with a paper towel and cleaned out all around that O2 sensor insert point just with a paper towel because there was all sorts of WD 40 left there. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that O2 sensors do not like WD 40. I'm going to hit O2 sensor with some anti-seize before I screw the new one back in. And, yeah, I'll update you guys after. All right, there it is, guys. We got the new O2 sensor in there. One thing that really helped me was this thread chaser. This was about, uh, about 10 bucks at AutoZone. And what I was having a hard time with was catching the threads again with the new O2 sensor. So what this does is you spray this with WD-40, you see it's got these grooves and it has the same threads and pitch as a as an O2 sensor. And what it does is it's pretty much a cleaner. It just cleans, it cleans it out and gets all that debris off of them. And honestly, I was trying for about 30 minutes to catch the threads without the chaser. I went in with the chaser and I caught the threads right away. So definitely, definitely worthwhile. I don't know if I'd resort to this right off the bat, 
but if you can't catch the threads, definitely recommend a thread chaser. So we're gonna fire it up and we'll see how she runs. All right, we got the O2 sensor replaced. And for now, that check engine light is gone. This has been the fix for the P0158. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.